one, go! As we begin this match, Archimedes and Darwin use their typical starting configuration. Archimedes in red will be able to score 15 points for exiting the half, while Darwin in blue will pick up 12. Checking out the rest of the action as the sandstorm subsides, we see some cargo sealed in on the red side of the field on behalf of Runnymede Robotics. We do see defensive action already in play. Team Rembrandt from the Netherlands. They are sitting right behind Celtex on the Red Alliance. They're going to wait for Celtex to approach their cargo ship or the rocket to try to slow them down. Meanwhile, down on the blue side of the field, defensive robot for the Red Alliance is Runnymede Robotics. Thunder Chickens are an incredibly fast robot for your blue Darwin Alliance. And it looks like Rembrandt are trying to also work to help them continue scoring as quickly as possible while Runnymede tries to slow them down. Thunder Chickens drop off three more points for your Blue Alliance. Current score with under a minute and a half remaining in the match. A very tight advantage to your Red Alliance. 53 to 49. More cargo coming on in on the red side of the field. We also see Celtex working on hatch panels now. McQuanago Bears of your, the Red Alliance. They're collecting some cargo, typically a very strong hatch panel robot. They are going to drop cargo off into the lowest level of the Red Alliance rocket on the near side of the field. Each piece of cargo worth three points. McQuanago now adding three more to that Red Alliance lead. 40 seconds remaining in the match. Just one hatch panel, the difference in score between these two capable alliances. Thunder Chickens looking for a place to drop off some cargo. The only safe spot is in the Blue Alliance rocket. There are only empty cargo bays inside of that rocket. 20 seconds left, still a red Archimedes advantage. Robots now racing back to the hab. Both alliances can do double hab three times. McQuanago is trying to make it happen, but so are the Brightman Techno Dogs. It looks like a level two as well for the Red Alliance as time expires in Einstein Final Match One. Results coming up on the screen for you now. By six points, take a look at those final results in favor of the Archimedes Red Alliance. 107 to 101 in Einstein Final Match One. Last time they played, let's take it apart. What did you see, Dave? Well, I guess what I saw right at the end, there was a six point difference. There were six points and penalties there. If there weren't six points and penalties, that match would have been tied 101 101. So, looking for a clean match the next time. Damn. Think so. Yeah, it looked like really good execution from both sides. We saw both of the triple or the double level three climbs. Beautiful. Uh, three extra points, though, for Red, uh, our Archimedes Alliance, for that extra level two climb on the Hab at the end. Um, you know, 217 and 5406 just putting up with a lot of defense that match. We did see Darwin shift their defender over to the other side midway through, uh, giving, you know, 930 some problems, but a lot of scoring through the defense this match. Yeah, 1310 going against the Thunder Chicken. Mm -hmm. 217, very strong through most of that match. Yeah. All right, we're going to reset the field here, and while we do that, we're going to send it on over to President Don Bosi to recognize our Dean's List winners over on the stage. Don?